Hello and welcome to the 58th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we'll be looking at class copy constructor. Uh, the copy constructor allows you to perform something when copying a object to another object when it had been initialized. So we're just going to go ahead and open up our project. And what we're going to do is just create a simple class. I'm going to call it copycat. Curly brace, semicolon, quiz and public methods and variables. So int i char c probably not going to use both of these. And it's going to create a regular constructor as we have looked at before in this series. Now the copy constructor you use the same name as the regular constructor, but inside you have something called const, which is a constant. It's a copy cat object, but it's actually a reference to a copy cat object, I'm going to call it x, you can call it whatever you want here, you do colon, and then basically uh, I'm just going to perform the little bit of functionality that I want. So what I'm going to do is saying i of, this means i of the new object will equal x dot i times i 10, and c will equal x dot c will equal x dot c and then we can just put some curly braces like this obviously we could form this within here as well but this is just another way to do it and because we've created a copycat constructor we're just going to implement it not actually going to do anything with it it's going to implement it with no content and then the next step is to simply create our copycat object i'm going to call it cc then cc.i equals 5 and what we're going to do is do copycat and to create another copycat object I'm just going to call it ok you pass in cc now it's going to print out ok.i with the angle brackets here put an end line And now if we run this, we get 50, and we get 50 simply because we use the copycat constructor which multiplied the value of i by 10. And if we just put c, we get oh, we have an initialized c, so c dot c equals we'll put I don't know capital T. Run it and we get t because it hasn't actually done anything. We see that's just a straight copy, but with i we multiplied it by 10, hence why ik has value of 50 for i. That's it for this part of the series. In the next part we're going to be looking at the friend function. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.